The sun will rise, the sun will rise, bringing life to the earth as it springs from the ground. The sun will rise, the sun will rise, won't you dry all your tears, lay your burden down. Hello, happy Monday to you. We'll start off with devotion today. I hope you had a great weekend and that this week will be a blessing to you. Today's devotion is from Sarah Young's Jesus Calling. Peace is my continual gift to you. It flows abundantly from my throne of grace. Just as the Israelites could not store up manna for the future, but had to gather it daily, so it is with my peace. The day-by-day collecting of manna kept my people aware of their dependence on me. Similarly, I give you sufficient peace for the present when you come to me by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. If I gave you permanent peace, independent of my presence, you might fall into the trap of self-sufficiency. May that never be. I think about this time with our safety at home, staying home, save lives, quarantine, whatever you want to call it for COVID-19. And that may be one of the greatest gifts we're receiving through this experience that we are realizing that in some cases we had given up our first love, that we had kind of put God on the back burner. I, I include myself in this. There are so many times now when I look back and I think, wow, I did not show my complete dependence on the Lord. I kind of went along thinking I was self-sufficient and what a great way to snap us all back into reality real quickly that we are nothing without our Lord and God. We need our savior. We need Jesus Christ walking right next to us every step of the way. And what a joyous blessing it is to know that he's he's right here he always has been and he always will be ready for us to depend fully on him again i have designed you to need me moment by moment as your awareness of your neediness increases so does your realization of my abundant sufficiency i can meet every one of your needs without draining my resources at all Approach my throne of grace with bold confidence, receiving my peace with a thankful heart. God's resources are unlimited. He can help us in any way. Nothing is beyond his capability. Nothing is too much for him or too far for him. He can meet and will meet all of our needs according to his perfect timing. And we just trust. That's our job. Sounds so easy, yet it's so difficult. So then he leaves us the option of just to come running back to his throne of grace to ask with boldness and with confidence, Lord, I need you. I need help. Help me, Lord. It doesn't have to be some grand announcement It can be the smallest little cry for help. In fact, he's listening to us. He is wanting to hear from us. And what a blessing we to go through each and every single moment of our lives knowing that truth. Exodus 16, verses 15 through 16 and 19. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Each one is to gather as much as he needs. No one is to keep any of it until morning. Philippians 4, 6-7 and 19. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And as we know, those glorious riches are without limit. Hebrews 4.16, then let us approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. God is always there waiting. And sometimes we go through things and try to face it alone when we will all be blessed by simply going to him first. Let's pray. 
Awesome, God, Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for your boundless and limitless riches and grace. Lord, we are blessed beyond measure. We do not deserve any of it, any of it, but because of your great love for us through your Son, Jesus Christ, we get to experience all the goodness you have for us. Lord, thank you. Our hearts overflow with thanksgiving. And Lord, we trust you. We depend on you. We need you. We want you. Lord, allow our hearts by the power of your Holy Spirit to turn immediately to you when things seem to start kind of running out of control. Lord, nothing is out of control for you. And you have been there, you know it, you're already there ahead of us, and nothing surprises you. Lord, we're your children, you have made us your children, and we are forever grateful. Amen. Have a good day.